My son in first grade was still not reading. Uh, I knew he was a very smart, smart little kid. And I knew there was um, a disparity between his intelligence and his reading level. I had him um, educationally evaluated. I took him to an occupational therapist. I took him um, to a, a developmental optometrist to rule in and rule out every possible thing. And what came back was that he had dyslexia. They decided, the school decided that they wanted to retain my son. And I was not really on board with retention. Um, if, unless you're doing something drastically different, uh, there's, there's studies that show that doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, it's basically the definition of insanity, which kind of sounds uh, a little crass, um, but that's how I felt about it at the time. Uh, they had discussed that one of the reasons they wanted to retain him was the third grade test. And this was in first grade. And as a parent, I wasn't thinking about the third grade test. I was upset that my son couldn't read the word cat or dog. I wanted to know what we could do to help my son at this moment. Um, we did decide after much thought and prayer to retain him with the assurance that he would get um, the help from a reading interventionist. He would be pulled um, at least 30 minutes a day to work on reading with a special education teacher and then there would be accommodations and modifications in the classroom. A month into it, in the second year, he told me that he was not getting to see the reading interventionist. He was dropped from that reading intervention and I was not informed. And so that was one of the reasons why I decided in December of his second first grade year to move my son from that, his home district to the district that I work for. Because at the district I work for, we have an amazing reading intervention program. And we use um, a program that is specific for dyslexic students. It's heart-wrenching to watch your child um, think he's stupid. So... Um, I was at the breaking point of watching my child um, feel that way. And um, I knew I could take him somewhere where he would get the supports he needed so that he could not only learn to read, but gain self-confidence again. He receives um, daily reading intervention by a reading specialist. He um, received um, accommodations for his spelling. He gets differentiation in the classroom. He received hands-on learning. Everything you could possibly imagine that he needed, he got here. Um, I saw him go from a child who felt he was stupid to a child who probably has a little bit too much self-confidence, possibly, <laughs> if you can have too much, um, and that sees his dyslexia as a gift. He is in third grade, and he currently is at a 3.9 grade equivalent in reading. So he's ahead of the game currently. He got everything he needed emotionally and educationally.